Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making this awesome side dish called Cheesy Bacon Ranch Potatoes. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, come cook with me and I'll show you how. Now let's get started on those ingredients. You're gonna need diced potatoes, ranch seasoning, pepper, garlic powder, and seasoned salt, olive oil, shredded cheese, and some chopped up bacon. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our diced potatoes and put it into a little baking dish. And you're gonna add in your olive oil. From there, all you're gonna do is just mix it all around so it can cover up the potatoes. Now, once your potatoes are covered in the olive oil, you're gonna take your seasonings, your garlic powder, seasoned salt and pepper, and you're just gonna place that all over the potatoes along with the ranch seasoning. And then from there, you're just gonna toss it all around that way that it gets covered with the seasoning so everything gets flavored the same. Now, once everything is coated evenly with the seasonings on your potatoes, you're gonna wanna start flattening it out in your baking dish to make sure that it gets an even cook. From here, you're just gonna wanna take a piece of foil to cover up your baking dish to place it in the oven on 350 for about 35 minutes. Now, once your 35 minutes has passed, you're gonna pull out your cooked potatoes and then you're gonna start placing your shredded cheese on top of the potatoes. Also your chopped up bacon. At this point, you can start layering the cheese and the bacon. That way it can get that cheesy, bacony goodness all over. At this point, all of our toppings are placed onto our potatoes and we're gonna stick it back into the oven for an additional five minutes to allow it to get melted. And there you have it, you guys. Our cheesy bacon ranch potatoes are finished and they paired perfectly with our barbecue chicken sliders. They had the perfect amount of cheese and bacon and that kick of ranch and they were just an overall great side dish to have with this meal. I hope you enjoy them just as much as we do. And shout out to my little sous chef in the kitchen helping me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already a part of my cooking family, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. But until then, I'll cook with you later. Bye guys.